going to march. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locust and wild honey. And this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord.
the two of us can form the marriage in an image suited to our own good. What we thought was our own good. When that marriage ended, ended after a short time, thank God, I had a dim view of marriage. If this is what marriage is, I don't want any part of it. I developed a lack of faith in marriage. At that point in my life, I turned inward. I was my own man. I was my own man. <clears throat> Can you see a problem with that? We are made in God's image. We are not our own. Thank God that God got to me somehow. I was not baptized yet. But God had a plan for me and told me I was going to marry Linda. Through my fears and lack of faith in the institution of marriage, I would not make that leap of faith on my own. But with Jesus in me, the Jesus in me becoming bigger than my fears, bigger than the man I can be alone, I became part of God's plan and started that family with Linda. What a blessing that marriage is. We lose sight of our God-given image when we try to create our own images. Let me tell you, you must decrease so that Jesus can increase inside of you. John 3.30 he must, de he must increase, I must decrease. Those are the words of John the Baptist. Of course, he was talking about his ministry, his presence, his hold on followers must decrease so that the true Messiah, Jesus, can increase. John the Baptist was just showing the way for one greater than he. One that he's not worthy to even stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandal. By the way, there'll be a test later. John 3.30. He must increase. I must decrease. So what is overshadowing Jesus in you? Are you so big that we cannot see Jesus? Are you overshadowed by something in the church that bothers you? If so, you must decrease. Are there church rules that just hurt you? Perhaps there is something about the homilies, the pastor, the deacon, the building, that is closing your mind to the gospel message. You want to be totally here whenever you can for liturgies of the Word and the Eucharist. You want to be totally here for the reconciliation service next Saturday at 10 o'clock. You want to conform yourself to God's image and God's given plan. He must increase, I must decrease. Advent is about coming, the coming of our Lord. We are waiting for the coming of the Lord with anticipation, not in the dread of divine judgment. We know that Jesus is here with us, here and now. But we are eagerly awaiting to see Jesus face to face. What we do with our lives while we are waiting is all about the gospel. That's why we want to be fully present 